Okay, so you guys are you're at the edge of the forest. Uh, it's still pretty light because you you know you you got up not too late, but uh, or not too early, but um, it's probably about an hour or so before lunchtime, say around eleven ish. As you take your first steps into the forest. All right. Well, what is the King's Forest like? First of all, it is mostly deciduous trees, very few pine trees. Uh, it's more open and airy than a lot of the forests that you've been into the east, uh, west. Sorry. Um, most of the forests in the west-hand side are pine forests. They're, if you remember, they're all pretty dark and they're pretty closed in. This is a lot more open. Um, there's a lot of grass growing on the bottom of the bottom of the forest floor. A lot more fauna and flora. Um, generally, it doesn't have a sinister or foreboding feel about it whatsoever. It really doesn't. It's quite a pleasant forest, to be honest. Um, you know, periodically as you begin to walk into the forest, it's not too long before over to the left you're just in time to see a a doe and a fawn skipping through the trees. Um, you know, there's squirrels, um, all kinds of regular creatures, the odd rabbit here and there. Nothing seems to be overly skittish. Um, you get the general feel that this forest is probably doesn't have much in the way of unpleasant things in a, you know, in it as, as, as a general rule. Not the sort of place that you can probably expect to get ambushed by trolls, although who knows, doesn't mean there aren't any here. But generally speaking, it's it's a nice place. Be on your toes, guys. Just because I said it's nice, right? <laughs> I'm gonna cast magic vestment on myself. Okay. It's gonna illuminate my body. All right. So you dump magic vestment on yourself. Is Kia gonna do her normal mage armor? Probably. Yes, yeah, she is. Okay. Um, Marlo, just to clarify, did you put your robes and your braces of protection and all that back on? Yes, I did. I actually felt naked without them. Right, okay. So, um, you're now wearing yeah, it's your... funny coming out of Marlo's mouth. Right. right? <laughs> yeah, Marlo, Marlo never wears naked. any... Yeah, e even fully dressed Marlo is still half naked anyway, at least for the mid-drift. Um, alright. So you head, as you said, you've been heading off into the trees and the forests. Alright, let's pick up a random encounter roll or two and see what happens. Okay. You've been wandering into the forest for about two hours. Um, you've come across a small little brook. You can hear the running water as you approach it. Um, it winds straight through the trees. It's, it's no bigger than probably about two foot across, so you can literally step right over it. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to step over it. Not getting wet if I don't have to. All right. No problem. Just wandering on past it. Keep on walking through the forest. Uh, another couple of hours pass. Let me just check something here. Let's take you here. Uh, all right. I'm going to go ahead and just put you. Let me just put you on a forest map here. Part, uh, racist part werewolf, what did it say? <laughs> um, actually, that's from the first campaign. Something iffy happened to Racer that people are not really sure about, um, but it doesn't seem to have really done anything since, so... She got... <laughs> is that still burning? Jesus! <laughs> what is that? It's, it's continual flame, Spook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing something. What are we laughing at? Uh, when you go to the new map, you go over some old maps, like in your rotation for us. Oh, so yeah, because you win a, yeah. it doesn't scroll, you see, so I actually have to dump you on a map, then scroll, and then move you over again. Got it. <laughs> that makes sense. All right. Okay, so here you guys are wandering through the forest. As you can see, it's pretty open and plenty of deciduous trees. Um, right. um, everybody make a spot check for me, please. But the first 20 is coming out of those rolls. Oh. <laughs> Radavan's oh, actually got keen eyesight for a change. 
Ooh. Oh. And Racer nice. with a 31. Yeah, there ain't much you're not going to spot with that. Marlow with a 22. All right, and we w doesn't really matter whether Kia does or not at this point, but um, oh, she, she definitely, definitely does. does anyway. Alrighty. Okay, as you guys are basically wandering up through the forest, um, this is how I've got you, but feel free if you're not walking this way. Normally I know Racer and Kia are towards the back, so that's why I've got you this way, but position yourselves where you would want to be. That's fine for me. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> okay. Marlo's on. Marlo's on point. <laughs> All right. I just realized I was mute there. I was wondering why you guys weren't answering me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that generally speaking is the usual thing. We're usually muted if we're ignoring each other. Uh, okay, so you're wandering through. Um, this little cluster of bushes up ahead. You see it kind of rustle, like shh, shh, like something's in it. Uh, who sees it? Um, oh, everybody. <laughs> All right. Uh, Marlo? I'm going to grab my bow. Marlo? What? I know you like to punch things and you're antsy. It's moving enough to where you know it's it's not a rabbit, it's not a squirrel, it's something bigger for sure. It can't be that big because the bushes aren't that big. But something is definitely in there. <laughs> I could just have Kia fireball it. Okay. <laughs> You set the forest on fire? Oh, good point. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, who goes there? All right, you hear... <laughs> like a high-pitched giggle from inside the bushes. That wasn't creepy at all. The heck was that? Uh, show yourself? Please? You hear... No, Lana's scared. Oh. Who's, who's Lana? Is that you? Hi, Lana. Well, what's where... scaring you, Lana? Yeah. Strangers in my forest. Oh well, we're here with permission of the king himself, Marcus, King Marcus. The shiny tin men are bad. They never used to be bad. You've got well, a shiny tin man with you. Is he bad? Radovan's not bad at all, I promise. We won't hurt you or your forest. Just, uh, nobody hurts Lana. Spirit what? won't let them. Sorry, who won't let them? Spirit won't let them. Spirit's watching you. Well, we Listen, we're not bad. We're just here to make sure no one else gets hurt. Lana's seen a lot of people get hurt. Well, that is something I want to try to avoid. Right, make um, a... Let's see. Mm. <laughs> make a negotiation check, Rado Bear. A diplomacy? Yeah. Twenty-two. All right. Um, you see what appears to be a strange-looking little creature pop out from behind the trees. Wrong little creature. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> I don't say that. Out loud. I your mistress. That's what she looks like. So basically, um, she's carrying a small little sickle in her hand. She has, like, spiky green hair that doesn't really look like it's probably hair, but it almost looks plant-like. Um, she's wearing kind of earthy colors. All of her stuff is made of leather. Um, she's got a short bow. It's short by short bow standards, and a sheath of arrows on her back, a quiver of arrows, and a dirty yellow cloak. She also has bright green eyes. She almost looks childlike in appearance, but clearly not human. Um, I don't know if you guys, you guys can zoom in on your own map, but just in case you want to see a little better, there she is. 
<laughs> I love how Goop said it. Are you a noble? That's the first thing we should ask. <laughs> As she raises a fist, crack. <laughs> yeah, she's like, that's it. Noble time. Okay, so she pops out, like timidly, behind the bush. Oh, well, you're pretty. My. She goes, <laughs> It's nice to meet you, Lana. She goes, This is Lana's forest. But I don't like what's happening. Well, well, maybe we can help. How can you help Lana? Can you tell us what's wrong? What's going wrong with your forest? Maybe we can try to help. The shiny man. The shiny man? It's a shiny man that keeps killing everything. Oh. It tried to kill Lana. but, But Lana was quick and ran away. Well, that's good, Lana. I'm glad that you were able to get away. You know, we were sent here by the king to look for a man in shiny. The human king? Yeah. He sent us here to take care of the shiny man. He's nice in the forest. I saw him yesterday. He came here. The shiny man almost killed him, too. Where is the shiny man? I don't know. He's not near. Well, that's Lana, good, because I don't want him to hurt you. I don't want Lana him to... can hear him. He makes noise like you. He's loud. He's not quiet like Lana. No, Lana's very quiet. Okay, she got timidly moves out of the bushes just a little bit closer. She says, Spirit! And from behind this like bush, like this tree, you see what appears to be like a large, overgrown, kind of gray and black cat. Um, Holy shit! <laughs> the oh, thing is, just... as it kind of steps out of the, you, you see it. Like Kia turns to her, her left as she hears the like the padded footprints, and you swear it was green before. It's like its its skin color changes from green to like this mottled grey like it has some kind of innate camouflage ability Shinji Kia probably says <laughs> big cow <laughs> um okay it, it it is moving cautiously like and low slinking towards Kia oh Lana is the spirit is <laughs> spirit won't hurt you Unless yes, you so try to it. hurt Lana. Does anybody disagree that Kia would try and pet it if it came towards as her? As long as she didn't try to ride Honestly. it. Honestly. <laughs> Kia yes. jumps on... Yeah, Kia jumps on it. No. <laughs> Honestly, Kia would try to pet it. It's, she would. I, okay. I feel like totally it's true. true. Right. As Kia kind of like puts her hand out towards it, it, it slinks back and lets out a low... <laughs> growl. Careful. But it doesn't uh, try to actually move. Lana, you must understand, my, my friend over there, Kia, uh, has a cat. Um, a cat by the name of Cal, whom she misses quite much, so she means no, you know, offense is, or... Is it a spirit leopard? Is it like spirit? It, it looks a little bit like spirit, but is it's not it like smaller. Is it a lion? Is it a tiger? <laughs> it's a bear, oh my! <laughs> The cat it Kia looks like spirit, but it's much smaller. It's a Very. kitty. Yeah, a kitty. Kia has a kitty. Yeah. Lana likes kitties, but spirit doesn't play well with kitties. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> um. Listen, Lana. We don't mean any harm to this forest. We, I, I actually quite like nature and the trees and the green. We're here strictly to stop the Shining Man from terrorizing people and killing people and scaring you and, you know, spirit, apparently. If Lana was bigger, Lana would make red stuff on the man. She holds up her little teeny tiny sickle menacingly. What? What? May I ask what you are exactly? I mean, it's rude. <laughs> she says, I'm Lana. Are, are you silly, a, a, silly tin man? It's are you a, a, a human <laughs> or a dryad? 
No, Lana's not a human! <laughs> Are you a fairy? No! Fairies are small and silly and have wings! Well, so, I, I just want to know what you are. I'm just I'm curious. I'm Lana! She's Lana. At this point, she kind of, like, runs out more into the middle, like, of the clearing here and spins round and round in circles, like, skipping round, going, Lana, Lana, Lana! Oh, I really want to detect alignment. <laughs> but I'm afraid to. Where is this Sam and thanks for the follow? Um. Well, Lana, Aka Vegas, thank you for the follow. Brave. And I don't think it matters that you're small, but I think it was smart to not go near the shiny man. Just, Lana snuck up on the shiny man one time. No one knows where Lana is if Lana doesn't want them to. But he knew. He knew I was there. He turned around and looked at me. I'm going to do Knowledge the Planes again. I want to figure out what the fuck this thing is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like obsessed with finding out what she is. <laughs> so here's okay. my Planes roll. That's better than my other one. Um... Racking your memory about things that you know about the uh, about other planes, there's nothing that really sticks out that she would be any kind of otherworldly or other plainly creature. All right, so then I'll do a knowledge nature. I mean, that was going to be my next question. If, uh, <laughs> if Kia or somebody could teach oh. yeah, knowledge they, nature, yeah, knowledge nature. Knowledge nature is an epic fail. <laughs> yep, um, you don't recall anything from nature necessarily resembling this. The closest thing, you, the only things that come to mind is sprites, dryads, that sort of thing. I mean, you're fairly sure she's some kind of fey folk, but you're not really, you don't really know what. Fey folk. I feel like I'm in Supernatural again. <laughs> uh, well. Can Kia roll on that? She can if she wants. I, th I, I, don't, she, I don't know that she has much in the way of knowledge nature. She might have some. Uh, she has more than, than Raisa does. Does she? Yeah. Then roll away. Yep. Uh, nope, <laughs> she's clueless as Radavan. Right. Um, by now, Spirit has stopped sniffing at Kia and is now over here sniffing Raisa. Lana, you said that he's nowhere near here. Can you still hear him? No. Would would it help us if we waited for him? Or would you want us to leave and try to find him? If you don't find him, he'll find you. Well, I just as long as you and, and Spirit are safe. What? Oh my god, it's on your back right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, basically, as you're talking to her, you can you suddenly kind of feel this. You feel, you can feel like heavy breathing to your left. You kind of oh. glance down and, and you see this massive me. cat. <laughs> 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 I, I immediately tense up. Um, yeah, but no, kind of glancing down. I mean, this thing is like, it stands, you know, almost chest height. So it's pretty hefty. It's not hard to it's not hard to know with this intimidating thing. I mean, its head is twice the size of yours. Your 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 head would fit in its mouth. There's no question about it. Hi, hi, hi spirits. <laughs> Hello. Is it <laughs> sniffs you? Perhaps we should leave you guys here and continue finding the evil man, shiny man. So then you and, and spirit won't be in danger. You won't have to be afraid. Lana doesn't like red stuff, but I think that you need to red stuff him. He's bad. Well, that's why we're here. That's the only reason why we're uh, here. Marlo's getting the cat treatment now. Hi, <laughs> Spirit. Just looks up at you and like... <laughs> and sniffs you. Marlo just holds her, her hands limply for him to sniff. Right, well, it continues to do so. <laughs> <laughs> And then it walks kind of like over and circles around her once and then kind of just stops like with its head and like four paws just right here. Like just 
between Lana and you, like sort of intimidating without being like being not being overly aggressive, but it's like, hey, I'm here, sort of thing. And then she goes, <laughs> Spirit says that you're not bad. But he no. doesn't know about the purple one. She, she's she's she trying real bad? hard. Oh, no, she's a little she... complicated, but she's trying really hard to not be bad anymore. Spirit's a good judge of character. He knows when people are good or bad. He smells the evil. We're here to put her on the right path as a friend who's been through a lot of adventures. Raisa, my friend Raisa, myself, and Marlo, I pointed all of them in turn, we're, we're trying to keep her from, from succumbing to evil, to being good. Because we want Kitty's her to be good. Her trying to keep her good, too. Yes. We're all helping her. It's a, it's a group effort. Did she used to be bad? Uh, no, not in the past. But she's trying to be bad? Is someone making her be bad? Uh, not quite, no, it's just... Oh, okay. did we lose Spook? Uh, I'm still here. Uh, you, you went swirly. It didn't even get as yeah. far as... It didn't even get to Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it'll clear. Uh, it should clear in a second. We'll give it a sec. If if it doesn't, you'll have to just flip your cam on and off. Maybe. Bas basically, Luna, bad things have happened to us in the past, and they're making Aww. they. She she's affected by it. Not you know. We're trying to stop it from really affecting us, but we've encountered plenty of truly bad people in the past. Lana doesn't like bad things happening to good people. Well, neither do I. This is why she's still with me. Hmm. Do you like nuts? Nuts? Nuts. She says nuts. Do I like nuts? <laughs> yeah. You mean like like peanuts and <laughs> cashew no, nuts? No, not peanuts. But Lana has some nuts. They're <laughs> yummy. Would you like some? Um. And she holds up what appears to be like a. It looks like a small pouch of it's made of leaves with like a little bit of twine wrapped around the top. And then she <laughs> opens up the pouch. <laughs> so would you say like a small sack? <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. It's a small pouch of leaves. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> We're not going there. <laughs> there you go, there. Spook's back. Okay. Why am I good? <laughs> Just D's nuts. <laughs> that would, you know, if I'd have called her D, that would have just been too funny, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, missed opportunity for right? her. Seriously, gore. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, well, she kind of skips over to Marlo, and then puts her fingers inside her little leaf pouch, and says, "One for you." And she holds out an, an uh, what it looks like an acorn, to be honest. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lana. And then she skips past you and over to Radavan, and she says, "And one for you." Uh, thank you. You're very kind. And then she skips over to Racer. And one for you. Can I try and identify it? Um, sure. What you, you use herbalism? Is or that what you would like? Um. Well, I mean, unless you want to, unless you think you have a, another skill that might be applicable. That's what I was thinking would be the best, but you know more than I. <laughs> okay. Herbalism probably would make the most sense. Um, as far as you are concerned, it's an acorn. Sweet. <laughs> okay, and then she skips over to Kia and she goes, and one for you. <laughs> and she like drops it in her hand and then like skips back at her, you know, skips back over behind. Her cat spirit. Oh, I feel like Q would react to that, but I really don't want her to. <laughs> <laughs> I cast charm. Like, yeah. <laughs> fucking shit, no, Kia, please. <laughs> Actually, I feel like she would be like, "Well, why did you say it?" So Race is just gonna be like, 
Nokia, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and for once, her. she listens. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, thank you for, for this. Looks really good. Mm, they're yummy. Yes, they are. They help your tummy. Uh, how? If your tummy hurts and you eat one, it'll make your tummy feel better. Oh, well that's very helpful. Thank you. Is there anything we can give you? <gasps> presents! Lana loves presents! Well, I... I... Van, what are we going to give her? <laughs> well, think of something. Yeah. Um... Here, do you like this nice staff with a dragon on the top? Or no? <laughs> Well, I, I'm going to go <laughs> to my bag, and I'm going to take out um, the pots and pans, and I'm going to say, would you like some meth? Uh, pots the and meth? pans? <laughs> Did you say meth? Would you like some meth? Would you like some meth? <laughs> you want, here's some pots, pots and pans. pans would you like man? to cook your own drugs? <laughs> if you want to cook your own drugs. <laughs> what is she going to do with the pot? <laughs> she going to cook her acorn meth. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so you're going to offer her a pot. Like yeah, a cooking I'll pot. offer her a pot. A cooking pot. Here. Okay, she goes <laughs> and runs over and grabs the pot and she puts it on her head. <laughs> oh, you look great! Now I look like the Tin Man! Oh, I'm the Tin Man! <laughs> you look great! Oh, I can't handle this character! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stash She needs this. Ritalin, not Sudafed! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, she says, Lana likes her present. Well, I, 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 I hope... <laughs> <laughs> I just hope your, your, your spirit will like it, too. You know, the noise it makes. I hope it won't bug them too much. <laughs> uh, Rachel's gonna, like, kind of pull out a few random things, and she's got... <laughs> she's got, okay. She's got a, a climbing spike. Right. <laughs> One rat is tail. A rat tail. Yeah, this a is rat tail. typical uh, racer pockets. Well. And um, oh, one glowing mushroom. And she's gonna say, "Would you like <laughs> one of these?" My presents. And she comes running over immediately. And then she like looks at the mushroom and she goes, "Oh, it's yummy!" And she eats it. Um, she looks at the rat tail, and she goes. Did you get this from a squeaker? Yes. yes. Look! She goes, Look, spirit, we got a squeaker tail! Whee! She waves it at him. And then she looks at the spike and she like holds it in one hand. Now, to her, this spike is basically this long. So it's like she's clutching <laughs> it like that. So it's, it's a corner of a dagger to her, size-wise. <laughs> like how big a dagger would be with you. And she's like going, yeah, yeah, With the dagger. Um, she says, now Lana has two things to make red stuff. Does she take everything? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> she took it all. She's quite happy to take it. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> well, I, I, I can also um, make a feast for you guys, if you would like. Hackmaster, thanks for the follow. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's using <laughs> magic. You ever hear of magic? Lana likes magic. Well, I can create food and water for, for spirit, if you would like, as well as yourself. Spirit likes bunnies. He likes what? Bunnies. I can't make bunnies. Um, <laughs> can you make fishies? Spirit likes fishies, too. Uh, honestly, create it's, it's pretty bland, but it's <laughs> <good> food. <laughs> I mean... Make it look uh, like a fish. I don't. Well, it's not, it's pretty not impressive actually. It's <laughs> highly nourishing. I don't think Spirit would like it, so I'm gonna reject it. Oh. No, Lana wanted some people food. Do you have any people food for Lana? Yeah. <laughs> um. If Kia has some rations, I think she could offer some of that. In. Okay. Um, Kia holds her hand out and she says, No, Lana's not hungry right now. <laughs> <laughs> Marlo's been looking at herself and she doesn't really carry anything, so. 
she takes off her scarf and says, Would you like this? Yeah! And she grabs the scarf and like wraps it around herself like three times so it's more like now she now she looks like a kid just wrapped in toilet paper <laughs> like there's arms poking up above it and feet sticking out the bottom and she says did you like Lana's new pretty dress? oh Lana's very pretty <laughs> everybody gave Lana a present except purple <laughs> I, I well Lana likes you. Lana says you can come back to her forest any time. Well, Especially means... if you make red stuff on the Tin Man. Well, that maybe that's what we should do. for you, So you guys can be happy and live in peace. Thank you for allowing us into your forest. <laughs> Lana didn't let you come in here, silly boy. Well, you... But Lana knows you're here. Lana likes to watch people when they come in her forest. Lana plays tricks on mean people. Well, none of us are here are mean. Oh, that's not true. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, most of you are nice. Most of you. Well, the king's men are also nice. And the king is very nice. <laughs> the human king's nice. Sometimes other people come in the forest and they kill the bunnies and they kill the deers and they kill the floppy ears. Have you have you ever seen? <laughs> Jason <laughs> Cheney and Overseas thinks the father. The human king is nice. Is there another kind of king that's not so nice? There's lots of kings. Ogre kings, troll kings, orky kings, elfy kings. There. A lot of those kind of kings are not nice, that's true. No, they're not nice at all. Well, well I hope you find the Tin Man and make lots of red stuff. I hope well, he doesn't red stuff you. Thank you. We'll take care of him. If he red stuff you and your tummy hurts, eat the, eat the little nuts and your tummy will stop hurting. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, she gave us Senzu beads. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm gonna start edging to the to the east. Okay, I'm just gonna right tucking her new found climbing spike into her weird new dress thing that she seems to think she has. She waves her hand excitedly and enthusiastically. Bye. 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 I hope you come back. I probably won't know. <laughs> As she kind of skips into the tree. <laughs> the cat kind of like stops and it, it, as it, it begins to pr like follow her and then it stops, turns around once and lets out a kind of low rumbling. <sighs> almost as some kind of last minute warning. And then it too wanders into the far underneath the tree. As it goes underneath the tree, literally, it, like it almost looks like it vanishes. Oh, I need to change my pants. No. Trust you to be scared of a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> Always be scared of little girls, man. And a clean pair of shorts. All right. Okay. Um, I'll move them out. And then I'm just going to recycle the edge of this map rather than just cycle through 20 different friggin' forest maps and just keep clean stricken. So that's okay. Okay. So um, you continue to wander through the forest, leaving Lana and Spirit way behind you. Um, everybody make a listen check. You will need to roll 25 or higher. Well, I'm out. Shit. Nope. <laughs> Oh, wow, I don't even hear it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me, um, does anybody have Kia's sheet open? Or? Uh, we've just been rolling 1d20s for her. Damn it. <laughs> uh, do you yeah. want to do it, Bane? Uh, yeah, I've got her sheet. Here. Sure. She's, she's just plus two. Yeah, she, she doesn't have very good hearing <laughs> for an elf. It's because her ears are always stuck underneath that hooded Holy cow. Holy cow. Yeah, we no. are oblivious. Okay, that's cool. 
No, it's not cool. You're not aware of anything bad creeping up on you. <laughs> Trust me, it's not bad. Yeah. Evil. Evil. Okay, um, yet you continue to wander through the forest. Um, several more hours pass. Now, do you guys have any kind of in... Do you, you want to go in a particular direction? Like, right now, you're just kind of heading northwards into the forest. Do you want to, like... From what you remember, there's a huge lake to the east of the forest. And you know there have been some attacks there. Um, you don't really know what's further north or what's west. But you do know that this is a pretty big expanse of trees. Go to the lake. I know that race is on high guard, so she's going to be, you know, paying extra attention and listening. So okay. if you would like me to roll it all for that, just let me know. When I, I, I will. Uh, I say we go a little eastward to the lake. Alright, so you guys want to start heading in an easterly direction. Yeah. Which is ironic, really, because that's the way you're going. <laughs> Maybe we should keep track of which direction we go. I don't yep. want this to be a... Does anybody have any kind of navigational skills or have um, survival? Wood situation here. <laughs> I survival do not skill have as any well. spells prepared that would help me, and we don't have cow, so... What, um, what are we looking for? Survival? or? Uh-huh. All right, well, Kia and Risa are useless. And I have a useless map, and I usually just wander around till I find stuff, so... <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be lost. <laughs> Maybe we should head towards the water, then, because we know where that is. <laughs> yeah, you know there's a... You, know, a there, you know for sure that there's a, the, a, a, big, a, a big lake to the east. Yep. And again, they told you that some of the, some people, anyone stupid enough to fish on the forest side of the lake, some of them had been attacked and killed by this thing as well. So, alrighty, okay. ocarina music out of nowhere. <laughs> alrighty, you continue heading in that direction. All right, well, it takes you a good because you went so far north. You start heading east. Several hours passed. Um, it's now probably late afternoon um you know you're you're coming towards the end of august so it's it's still pretty light out but you know the nights are just now beginning to start to slowly begin to creep in uh, but you've still got plenty of daylight um do you want to keep looking for this thing or do you want to call it quits and try to head out um i think that uh we know it's going to find us so, it doesn't matter. We can stay or we can move. I agree. Do we, how I, easy do we want to make it for this thing, though? <laughs> <laughs> well, if we have it come to us, we can prepare a little bit, right? So mm -hmm. That's what I was saying. Let's find a good, like, ambush. Uh, I agree. Good, good idea, Risa. Alrighty. So, what are you looking for for an ambush site? To maybe some sort of a clearing okay let's look for a clearing alright so you begin to head out and kind of start looking um, let's see here let's see if I've got one with a let me make you one with a bit of a clearing real quick bam see how easy that was guys alright so let's do this. Let's move you. Well, I guess we could have created a clearing. Kia could have just like burned all the trees. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Here you go. Um, Lana watching. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure probably, probably following love that. <laughs> all right. So yes. Um, there you go. So up ahead, after you continue head east about another 45 minutes to an hour or so, eventually you do see what appears to be a reasonably large clearing in amongst the trees. Looks suitable, possibly for what you're thinking of. I say we do what we did versus the Wendigo. Which means racing. absolutely nothing to Marlo. <laughs> back to back, Marlo. Back to back. Everyone look in a different okay. direction. <laughs> if you see something on your side, point to it and let us know. Oop. Ah. I jumped up to Marlo. Apparently I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you guys are all going to stand in the middle of the clearing and basically go kind of like as you said create a back-to-back -back scenario 
Alrighty. Um, how long do you want to wait like this? <laughs> at the ready! Long as it takes? Till nightfall at least? Okay, so you want to like wait here till nightfall. Alright. Okay, well, looking up above, you start to see the, the sun is going down, the moon starts to come up. Obviously, in the clearing, you can see fairly well in the clearing, but it's starting to get pretty dark in amongst the trees. Uh, of course, you elves can still see well, with your I mean, night... if we want it to come to us, we could make a... Fly. You know, with your night vision, you can see pretty much just kind of into the edge of the, the front of the tree line. You can kind of just make out the shadows inside, but you can't really see much past that. Alright. Alrighty. Is a no-show? Yep, it's beginning to get dark, and hmm. as the sun, or, you know, it's beginning slowly to get darker here in the clearing. Do we want its attention? I think it should have been here by now. This is odd. You still got some pots left. Bang them suckers together. <laughs> okay. I mean, I do that. I take some pots out and I start every once in a while. No, actually, no, I don't take pots out. I just use my <laughs> morning star and my shield. And I, clang, and I clang, clang, clang. Okay. Clang, clang, clang. Clang, clang. Alrighty. What, what was the guy's name? The, the knight? Whoa, Earl what did Arl? I just do? I didn't Lord do Arl? that. Errol? Lord yeah, Errol, so. yep. Lord Errol, come and get it! <laughs> <laughs> Screaming at the top of your lungs. I challenge thee! Or something equally intimidating. Uh, I don't... Uh, I challenge thee or something. <laughs> clang, 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 clang. What is this doing? Hold on, roll 20 did something freaky. Uh, stop being freaky, roll 20. Okay, there we go. Oh. Oh. Willow, thank you. Just for flurry, thank you. <laughs> Let's see, where are we looking at? Um, what did I miss? Will of the Way. Will of the Way, thank you for subscribing. I don't know why our follower alert thing is being so slow tonight. It, it will get there, though. It will get there, and it will thank you properly in just a minute. That was very nice of you. Very kind. Very kind indeed. Let's see, where is it? That's it. Spam some hyped up rollies for our new subscriber. Normally the subscriber thing goes off pretty quick, but it's being slow tonight. I don't know why. Oh, not Will. Hey, oh, sorry, Will. <laughs> <laughs> I read quickly and I'm dyslexic and stupid. Will or not Willow Shaggit. <laughs> yeah. Will of. I know, it's Will of the Way. All right, all right. Yeah, Milk what? says she heard Twitch alerts having problems today. I've heard that, too. I, I heard that. It's, it's, it's giving us the follows, but it's not giving us the subs, apparently. Mm -hmm. So, because I'm seeing that it's, it's showing me the list of the followers, but not the subs. So, I'm sorry about that. But we, we love you for subscribing anyway, and we promise to make sure that we'll uh, get you all your subby, subby goodies. Okay. Right. So, now it is starting... To get dark. It's beginning to get to where Radovan and Marlow are beginning to have a hard time seeing. You can still see in the clearing because the moon's fairly high, but it's just a wall of darkness where those trees are. Ranky, thanks for the follow. And Arbales, thanks for the follow as well. Okay. You, don't, you don't need to listen, check, because <laughs> we can hear battle music. <laughs> from this direction, you hear crash, 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 as something fast and heavy is coming through the trees. Before you physically see anything, you see two pinprick glowing eyes in the dark, but they're not stopping. They continue to charge straight out of the clearing. At a blazing and blistering seed or speed, a suit of full plate with a red cloak, just like that which the king's men wears, comes blasting out with its sword drawn. No shield. Um, the weird thing is, you've noticed there's like a, a 
all around the edges of the plate mill, where every joint is at the shoulders, the elbows, the knees, the chest, under the arms. There's a very faint glow of red that comes out, giving it a... Not that I think it's going to matter, but they say that your dice panel is uh, shuttered. Yep, it is. I, I shuttered it because I, I, I wanted to switch music and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to. See, I didn't want him to see what I was switching it to. Try to reason with it. There you go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it your, comes charging <laughs> straight out, <laughs> um, without stopping. Is heading directly straight at you guys, full bore. As it looks like his sword is raised, as it becomes closer and closer, the burning in the eyes gets more and more vibrant until it's almost like a glowing beam of red coming out from the visor itself. Kind of looks like a Cylon. <laughs> but without the movement. Even that uh, or Kit from Knight Rider. Um, as it comes blasting Marlo towards you with the sword raised, um, as it gets to the edge of the trees, as you, you all see it, so I'm assuming everyone's going to turn to face this thing. Not Kia. Except Kia. <laughs> <laughs> of course, she's hiding behind Rafi. Okay, so Kia's moving out slightly to the side. Where's Racer? Um, this is all like a reactionary thing, so you can't do more than like a basic small move at this point. Yep, I'm right there. Okay, I. Right. Once it clears the edge of the clearing, taking a couple of steps, clearly verifying to you that this thing is not human and is not just a regular knight in armor. So it is here. It leaps into the air as if it isn't wearing armor at all. There's no way anything normal could leap wearing a full suit of, of plate. Leaps in the air. As it does so, it just raises the sword up above its head and comes like gliding, crashing down towards you guys. It's going to land in front of... You'll find out next week! Hi there, I'm Gorbad. Welcome to the Orc's Nest. I'm the Dungeon Master here on How We Roll, and if you'd like to follow me personally, you can do so on Twitter, at Gorbad. Check out thedmblog.com for all things Dungeon Master and Dungeons and Dragons related. And of course, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash Gorbad. Also guys, don't forget, to keep up with all things How We Roll, follow us on Twitter at How We Roll. Check out the website, www.howweroll.com, and make sure you follow us on YouTube as well. Cheers, guys. When I'm not playing Radovan Rainier, cleric of St. Cuthbert for How We Roll, I'm just shag it. A guy who can't do math in public. You can follow this poor lost soul on twitch.tv slash shagit, or on Twitter at aneb underscore convos. For the love of all things boozy, stay in school. I'm the Dragon Spooker, and I play Marlo the Hot-Blooded Monk for How We Roll. You can catch my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash thedragonspooker, or you can follow me on Twitter at at dragonspooker, and I hope to see you guys around. Hi guys, thanks for watching today's episode of How We Roll. I hope you had a lot of fun, and if you'd like, you can give me a follow at Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook at Bane Blackstar, or come say hi in my own Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash Bane1271. I stream full-time and usually play World of Warcraft, The Sims 4, and I even craft things out of polymer clay, but you never know what we'll get up to. I hope you'll come say hi, join in the conversation, and have some fun. Hi, I'm Jane, and when I'm not fireballing innocent peasants, I'm perusing Twitter, eating ice cream, and petting my cat Norman. You can follow me on Twitch at Jane Ivana, and on Twitter at Jane on Twitch, and that's with a zero, not an L. Goodbye. Or as I say, peace, suckers. <laughs>